Hey y'all, it's your girl Stace in the place. Hi Tuxi, you can go sit on the couch. Um, so at first I wasn't gonna make a video of this, but then I was like, you know what? Why not? I'm sure all the rest of us are probably doing a bunch of um, spring cleaning and stuff um, in January. So what I am doing right now is um, going through all of my, well, most of my um, hand sanitizers. And, you know, it's like, it's wild, y'all. I don't know if it's the recent change in economy and like just the world in general, because when I tell you the world is like off the chain, as you probably um, are definitely well aware of, oh, this one's kind of, yeah, we're going to chalk this one up to the game. Um, anyhow, uh, we are all being very much more cost conscious. And as I'm going through all of these hand sanitizers, I'm just like, oh my gosh. Like, I, I was really, um, really buying into the scarcity marketing for these hand sanitizers because every time that I think maybe I'm like, finished and found all of them, then like more of them pop up. So in case you are <laughs> wondering in the future um, why I'm not going crazy over a um, hand sanitizer sale, it is because I have far too many of them already. Um, but I mean, I will say that I really do love and enjoy Bath and Body Works hand sanitizers. Um, and I like how, you know, they can be like a dollar if you catch them on sale and the scents are very powerful. Like that's one thing that you cannot take away. Sorry, I'm like looking for the different scents that I'm finding. <laughs> um, that is one thing that you cannot take away from Bath and Body Works is that they definitely know how to pack the punch of a scent in their, um, hand sanitizers and it's wild and I really enjoy how they have the cute little beads um this one is sweet mint and rain oh this one was such a good one such a good one um dare I say like sometimes I feel like you use the hand sanitizer and like someone can smell the hand sanitizer on you faster than they can smell the body spray um so like yeah, that's crazy. Uh, let's see. Um, so I've been working on this a little bit already, as you can tell. And I think, I don't know, I'm kind of curious to see, what is this, pumpkin apple. I'm curious to see which scent I actually have the most of. Um, I thought it was gonna be pure wonder, but right now it's looking like the pink bubble gum. And wow, I can't believe there's a strawberry um, pound cake. That's hilarious. And here it is, peach macaroon. And I was shocked that I actually had two um, gingerbread bakeries from way back when. That's wild, because I knew I picked up some with the sale from last year um, in that packaging. And I think I picked up maybe like five or something, but yeah, I am. I'm super, super shocked. Um, another one that has a lot is Sunrise Woods, but I love Sunrise Woods, and I'm just, oh, when I tell you I'm terrified that it's just going to disappear during the fall one year, so that's my excuse for having so many of them. Also, um, Into the Night, I uh, have a lot of that one. Uh, I'm like, stay up here. Okay. Whew, finally emptied this box. Um, so I am placing them into this drawer um, that I have from either HomeGood, no, I think TJ Maxx. Um, I really enjoy the drawers. I like organizing my little stuff in drawers because it's a little bit easier to like see them. Now, I don't, yeah, because before, that's the one thing about organizing that like grinds my gears is that before I start in my mind I'm thinking like oh yeah I can put one down here and put one on the top but that's not gonna work and I could lay it on the top but I don't want to risk it so yeah and this one is looking funky on the inside so we're just gonna trash that guy okay so I'm thinking since the spring and stuff is getting ready to come 
I am going to put all of my, or most of my winter ones in here. Um, I'm going to leave this lineup of the pink bubble gum because it's like perfect. Let's see. So there's, just for those that are curious, it's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 pink bubble gums. Um, and then, which ones do I have the most of over here? Um, so inside, I put most of my winter ones already. Um, but I did not, they're not like perfectly together with each other. Um, so this row, I'm trying to make sure I have all the little rows together. Okay, so this little row right here is uh, Gingerbread Bakery. Um, so this is the new one from this year. Um, hopefully you can see it from there, but probably not. And then this is one of the ones from the years before. So I'm going to make sure that I put this one in the front. And I'm just going to move these in the middle. Um, so is that, I could have sworn that there's two. Oh yeah, here it is. Here's the other the other one from the um, last year. And so I'm gonna put two of those there and then move the rest up. So that's four, six, eight, and nine. And kind of going along with that theme, I'm gonna put Mary Cookie back here. Um, I personally did not pick up Mary Cookie because I was in love with Mary Cookie. It is because, I'm just looking to see if there's any more winter ones. Um, it's because it came in like a little set. So that's why I have that guy. And I'm gonna put Pure Wonders back here. Okay, so I think we have enough space for this winter berry ice. Um, this one's really nice. Philly Girl 31 talked me into trying winter berry ice and I enjoyed that one. So I'm gonna put those four back there to finish that whole line up. Um, next up, the one that I have a lot of is Pure Wonder. I like Pure Wonder. It, between Pure Wonder and Snowflakes and Cashmere, like those two are my body care, like winter loves. I like Dream Bright as well, but I don't love it the same as I do Pure Wonder and um, Snowflakes and Cashmere. So we have two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. That is a lot. <laughs> and then we're going to do, um, I have fresh balsam. So there's one, two, three, four of those. Um, and then three winter, oh no, we're going to do the two frozen lakes. Um, cause I think I'll fit, oh no, just one frozen lake spinning. Man, that's fine. We'll just put it next to each other. And then I also have two frosted coconut snowballs. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I've had it. I gotta use it up. Um, and then here are three winter candy apples. And let's see, any more winters over there? Nope, I guess we'll jump to Dream Bright. So we have one, two, three, four, and five Dream Brights tucked in there. And y'all I'm like hmm do I I guess I'll probably put the fall ones in and that should be easy with um sunrise woods so I'm gonna load sunrise woods up from the back um so here's two four six eight ten I know, it's crazy, right? And 12, <laughs> Sunrise Woods. And we got a little bit of space for some more. Um, oh, JK, what did I say? Did I say 12? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. And here is 14. I'll just put 14 in the back, like there. And I have space for <laughs> one more. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. Um, do I have a single one? That's, oh, wait, is this one? No, that's pear vanilla. Mm. This is the hard part. It's like, I want to put one that kind of goes with the fall. Oh, here we go. Um, ghoul friend. And we'll put ghoul friend in the front since it's just one of those left. Here, I'll move this over. And whoop, there we go. And like, that's crazy. Like that's all that's fitting in there. I could probably separate them and like put a little line of them in here, but 
Mm, it's gonna be tight and looking crazy, so no, I'm just gonna leave them <sighs> just like this. So at least like it's nice and organized now. Um, and then we can fill up this, fill this one back up, but like do it nicely and neatly this time. <laughs> <laughs> it was like it, a hot mess. Um, so I'm going to put these into the knife. And if you're wondering about this one, this is a nice, um, just by the fact that I cracked the side of it uh, from probably putting another heavy box on top of it. But this is um, one of the, I believe it's a 12 by 12 box from Target. And so this is really nice because it's nice and it is clear. Um, when I first purchased these, I only saw the kind that like has it all the way up to the top, but now they make them where it kind of has a dip down in the front. And so I would highly recommend those because they are great and wonderful to organize your hand soaps, your um, shower gels, your body washes. Um, what else? The spray mist. I would say not necessarily because they like fit like right on the top. So it's kind of hard to stack it. But if you were getting a set to put on top of a bunch of other stuff, then it would be great. Um, and the reason why I like the little dip is just because it's easy to like stick your hand in and get something from the back versus like this. If it's stacked on top, then you have to actually pick it up and move it. Um, so let's see. So we got two, four, six, eight, ten into the ninths. We've got two Noir. Um, so we're gonna fit those in there. Oh, perfect. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So you can do 12 across. I mean, well, 12 in a um, in a row. Um, next up, I think we're just gonna keep going with like our signature scent. So here is Into the Stars. So there's one, two, three, four. Uh, Six, seven, eight, and nine. Oh my gosh, y'all. I mean, I swear it's like it's wild. Um, it's wild how they'll have the sales and you just grab a handful of these because you're like, oh, it's just a dollar, or you know, if you catch them on sale for 75% off, you're like, let me load up, and then you load up and then you're like, oh my gosh, why do I have this much hand sanitizer? And this year, um, as I said, I'm cutting back. Like I, unless it is a brand new scent that I am just like bonker, going bonkers over, there's no need for me to purchase any um, hand sanitizers. And um, right now I'm working on white pumpkin. And so far we have eight of those. Um, JK, we have, yeah, okay, yeah. That was, this one's a different one from a different um, year. <laughs> <laughs> so 8, 10, 11, 11 of those. Um, and then I'm going to follow that up with a black cherry Merlot, just tuck in the back. Um, so we can have our little lineup of 12. But yeah, that's the thing I feel like with Bath and Body Works is that you have to be careful of because they will have you thinking that stuff like never comes back. And sometimes that, that does happen or like they skip a year and you're just like, what the heck? And then you're wishing that you purchased more or you purchase a bunch during a sale and you forget about it. You leave it in the bag and then you, the sale comes again. And you're like, oh, I need some more. And then, you know, you realize you have a whole bunch of the same stuff over and over again. It's the wildest thing. It should be studied. Um, so let's do these pumpkin apples. So we have five pumpkin apples over here. And then, um, uh, I really enjoy pumpkin apple and white pumpkin. Like those two, I would say those are like my favorite, like fall, like fall for the sake of fall scents because I do enjoy sweet whiskey. Um, that one is more like, oh, and, and Sunrise Wood, but those are more like girly, like alcohol vibe falls, but like the fall fall, like the pumpkin, like white pumpkin and pumpkin apple for sure. Afternoon apple picking, I got two of those. It's pretty good. Um, it's a very like fresh apple. Um, then we have pumpkin, pumpkin cupcake. 
It's okay, it's very gourmand, very, very gourmand. I can do it in the hand sanitizer, but like anything else is, is too overpowering for me. Oh no, shocking, right? Um, here's leaves. I enjoy leaves, but I feel like leaves can also be a little bit on the overpowering side. So, you know, sometimes I, I shy away, just, just a tad. Um, we have, what else do we have? That's fall over here. Mm. I don't know. I'll work this one from the back, but this is toasted vanilla chai. I really enjoyed this one. Um, I picked up, <laughs> I think I picked up like one and then I waited and then picked up all the rest when they were 75% off. Um, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight of those. But it's like, you know, in the moment, you're like, oh, yeah, like it's hand sanitizer. Like, it'll be great. I'll use them all up. Like, I'll keep one in the car, keep one on my purse, keep them in the rooms around the house. And when you're traveling, it's easy to have them. And this on the third, and like, they, they, they rack up. It's crazy. Um, and, and then in your mind, you're like, oh, 70% off, like for 50 cent, like, Throw them in the bag, it's not gonna hurt. And then, you know, when the day finally comes to organize them all, you're just like, this is slightly embarrassing, you know? But hey, gotta be transparent. This is how it gets. And this is why, you know, if you're looking for me to have a huge um, hand sanitizer haul, it's not gonna happen because I already have four flannels. So definitely don't need those. I think those are most of the winter ones that we have. Um, so yeah, oh, this one was so good. Lakeside Lavender, oh, this one was precious. I'm kind of sad that there's only one, but you know, you live and you learn. You live and you learn. Um, this one is coconut sandalwood and it is in the um, Black Heritage um, packaging. Oh, super cute. I like, I picked up on these because I just really love the packaging. And coconut sandalwood is a great um, hand sanitizer scent too. But we got two, four, six, seven, seven of those. Um, ah, so I'm just going to load these up. We're almost there, guys. Almost there. The dogs are like, they're so for me being down here. They're like, um, can we go play now? But we're almost done. Um, so let's see, let's do turquoise waters because that's my favorite summer scent. We have six of those. Wow, I am so impressed um, that I only have one fresh getaway left because that's like one of my um, top summery scents. Uh, we have two soft lavender, oh no, we have four soft lavenders and two lavender and vanilla. Uh, lavender and vanilla, like that's a that's a classic. It's a classic, baby. It's a classic. All right, so put those in there. Uh, what else do we have? Ooh, blackberries and basil. I'm hoping that this one will show up again. Not because I need to buy any, but just because I'm like, oh, this is such a good scent. Like I really want people to uh, be able to enjoy it. So I hope that that one comes back. And the sweet mint rain. Um, but unfortunately, I don't have enough space for that. So I'm going to put the two Gingham Fresh that I have in here. And so that's our first little lineup. Now, these I'm going to put in here. They're probably going to be rumbling um, and going everywhere. So, but I'm just going to sit them in here since it's the, the best um, opportunity that I have for them. Um, so here is bourbon. So we have five of the bourbons and one strawberry pound cake. Um, I believe that one came with like some little set that I had um, that uh, I think it was in like one of those gift bags and the gift bag was 75% off. And I'm like, oh, I can't turn down a 75% off gift bag. Um, here are some sweet mint and rain or wait. Yeah, sweet mint and rain. I love that one. Oh, it's so fresh, so minty. Um, pear vanilla. I only have one of those. And two ice lemon pound cake. Oh my goodness, y'all. If they bless us with ice lemon pound cake and body hair, like, I got to get more. I love that scent. Like, that is one of my all-time favorite spring slash summery scents. Um, white t-shirt. Very nice. 
and Blue Skies and Sunshine. That one was also very nice. Um, very like perfumey versus the white t-shirt is a little bit more like it's safer or well, safer for people who tend to have a reaction to like strong scents. Um, eucalyptus and tea. I love this aromatherapy one and I have it in the body oil as well. I really enjoy using that to just like relax. Um, cranberry peach. Mm. It smells okay. It's a little fruity, a little fruity. Um, and then, and there's just one of those. And then here's a five of the peach prosecco macaroons because I loved that scent. I loved it. And here they go. They start to fall. Okay, originally put them there. And then this one is um, this little spray is perfect pumpkin from this year. I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna slide and put this one um, in the little drawer here. But here we go. I just let that rest on the top. Wow. All right. So it's not perfect. I would love to get um, a couple of more of these, but like these were $16.99 at TJ Maxx. And so part of me is just like, I'd rather have this and like ha let it aggravate me that I have the rest of them in this so that I can like um, stop trying to use them sparingly and just like go ham on them so that I can slowly start to get rid of these and clear it out because I feel like that's a thing that you easily fall into when you're trying to organize your stuff is like getting another drawer because this slides into a thing but it's over there. Um, getting another like two more drawers to put these in but then I feel like at least for me I don't trust myself because I feel like oh then if I have extra room I'm like oh yeah I can definitely pick up more I have the space for it but this way it forces me to use them and get them moving and grooving so like I'm done and speaking of which let me yeah I'm, oh no that's why I can where is Life is sweet. Yeah, I'm going to use up one of these pink bubblegum ones actually right now. Go ahead and get this party started because, you know, it's no point in having it if you're not going to use it. So, might as well start using it now, right, Winnie? Winnie, <laughs> Winnie is down here on the pillow on the floor. She's a mess, a hot mess. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for hanging out with me with getting, um, my little hand sanitizer is all nice and organized. Mm, my hands smell like bubblegum now, so that's super exciting. And yeah, I hope that this was, you know, helpful. Or if you were looking for an idea of how to organize your items or a way to just go through them. Or if you just needed to feel a little bit better about your hand sanitizer collection and not feeling like it's completely out of control. Hopefully this helped and I will catch you in the next video.